only bad thing about it, Paul, there is um, it'll be the Cougars touching the ball first. That is bad news for the Sabercats because the Cougars, you know, 20 points. They've done they've done three traditional drives. Of course, they did intercept the ball in in the uh, uh, Sabercat territory. That has certainly helped. But um, uh, basically, the, basically the the Cougars have done some traditional drives on the ball. The Sabercats have stalled. Uh, and committed some turnovers as well. Yeah, uh, they got nine first downs. That is a Cougars, I believe, 10, and compared to the three of the Sabercats. And uh, two came on one drive, and the other one came on the first drive, making it a fourth and one. They picked up the first down, and then went on to throw a touchdown pass on a first and goal from the 10. So it's going to be the Cougars receiving on the north side of the field. Here we go, Pablo. And the kick is away. Very high. Good looking kick. Return on the five yard line. Received on the five yard line by the Cougars. He's going to go up the middle. He's got a few blockers. He tried to bounce it outside. He basically went backwards for a few yards. That looks like that's probably, is that white side? Right yeah. White side. He's wound up, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to go. Uh, probably lost a yard in his effort to go to gain and, you know, get some more yards. But he's in return. What is that? What do you call it? 26. That? 26. It'll be first 10 10 for the Cougars once again, ladies and gentlemen. It's Paul Osbury. Don Donald Salinas was a little out of air here on this run back. Uh, I ran a little run back myself over here, and people were yelling for the search bottle. I didn't even yes, make sir. it up 10 steps, and they, they I took, had to sprint. They to make it up here live. <laughs> so here we go. It's going to be first 10 10 for the Cougars. 11.53 left in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Cougars over the Sabercats right now, 20 to 7. Pablo. Twins left, twins right. It's going to be a run. Looks like uh, Gadell's going to hand it to the right side. It goes right up the gut again, right off. The left guard and tackle. Holding. We saw a yellow flag. It usually looks like a holding okay. uh, by where it was thrown and who threw it. It's usually a holding. Yeah, well, wait and see. Here comes the call right now. But uh, Cougars trying to please. The Cougars uh, saying, I didn't do it, I swear. Uh -huh. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> you never do it, right? Here we go. Here's the call. It's going to be holding. There it is. I can't believe they call a number just like in the NFL. Doing so it's going to be minus 10. So it's going to be second and 20 from the 16-yard line. So Cougars get a good run back, but then get hit with a flag all the quickly. Move them back. Move them back. So it's first and 20. Ball will be set at the 16-yard line. 11.47 left in the third quarter. It's still the Cougars over the Sabercats, 20-7. There we go. Cougars, usual no huddle. Sabercats are looking at one receiver to the left and one to the right. Call them split left to the right. Get out on the shotgun with three running back set. He hands it off. I'm not sure which running back. He loses his feet. He's footing. Uh, probably Whiteside still on his feet. He is just, just don't it. He just doesn't want to go down, ladies nope. and gentlemen. Uh, what happened was a Sabercat player basically tried to throw him to the ground, and Whiteside regained his regained his balance and went for another couple yards. Ten-yard pickup on the plays. We'll make it second and ten coming up. 11-20 left on third quarter, ladies and gentlemen, in case you're just joining us. It's Paul Osbury. I'm Donut Salinas. Donut. We're bringing you action Look, from sorry, Eddie Murphy. Look on the screen. Can you wonder why they're going out the left tackle? <laughs> is there some size advantage? Yes, yeah, sir. He looks like about 9 feet 14. <laughs> uh, and no, it's no wonder they're running off the left side of the offensive line for the Cougars. There we go. Another one for oh, the left I side. Just, I watched him absolutely pancake. And he bounces that side. It's white side. It breaks to the left, to the right. And he's moving, trying to stiff arm it to gain a few more yards. He definitely needs a breather off of that because he did some juking and jiving and busts it downfield for about at least a 25, 30 yard gain, don't it? Um, you calling it that? I'm going to give you a 40 yard gain. But we'll wait and see. All the way to the 40? He was at the 20? Mm, no, 10, he was at the 20, 20 no, 30, no, he was at the 30. 26. He was at the 26. It was first, second, but and hey, 10. But remember, he had a, a run. He got a few yards. Yeah, he got 10. It was first and mm, 20, ah. second and 10. So here we go, Paul. On this, we're gonna move, move those, those chains. chains. Paul, how much fun with it throwing those shirts? Yeah, I was loving it. I can't wait to throw some more. And we ran into Homer Hassel down there. Uh, great job, very generous young man. Uh, very involved in the city over here. We're glad to see him down there. And he said, "Just yes, throw them, throw them, let them have it." Okay, Sabercats looking at Twins left, Twins right. Looks like they got man to man on the bottom, and it's gonna be a Gadetto keeper. He decides to keep it himself. And he bounced it outside. Good nifty run. Pick up of maybe a gain seven, of eight. Seven, eight yards. Eight I'm yards. Give him eight because he's from Brewster. Give oh. him that extra yard. All That's right. a former Brewster Longhorn in the house. So eight yard pickup. It'll be second and two to me and Paulo. Second and three on the board. <laughs> yes, sir. So. But he's okay, from okay. So that's he's the official. From Booster, second and two. I'm going second. I'm going to a second and two. Second and two. Here yes. we go. It's gonna be Come second on, and Leo, two. Come on, Leo. Give me one more yard over there. A ball at the 35 yard line. All right, this time it's going to be a dive up the middle. It's going to keep it. He's going to go outside on the, the quarterback read option. 
Guerrero. Uh, instead of handing it to Whiteside, keeps himself mounted outside. That's a but good idea. But one more time. Move, move those, those chains. chains. That's why it was a good idea. <laughs> Pick up a first down. One more first down. Second down in the uh, second half with the Cougars. They got the ball. They started at their own 32-yard line. And quickly they're at the, I'm sorry, they started at the 26. And quickly they're at the 31-yard line. That is of the Sabercats. Yes, a good little gain. A good, uh, good uh, read option by Guerrero. They elected to keep it himself and got the first down. They needed two and he got about three and a half. Twins left, twins right. Looks like the Sabercats going to come up the middle. And it's a it's a bad idea because they ran through the other gap and white sides bust through for a 10 yard gain and they're gonna move, move those chains. chains once again. <laughs> Third first down for the Cougars in the second half. What a way to start the second half. So if your coach got uh, 20 to 7, you want the momentum to stay on your side, and you start off with runs of uh, 40 some, of 11, of 10, of 8. Of 10, gets caught back from a holding. No problem, comes back with a 40 yarder. I'd be You're thinking, saying, Get us, get us. That's right about that. That's where he got so happy right now. It is the Cougars quickly with the first and 10 ball now at the 21 yard line of the Sabercats. All right, Saber, uh, Ramirez Sabercats. quarterback. Ramirez the quarterback. You know, he's probably going to run. He gives the white sides, and they were all covering Ramirez on that particular play. White side staying up on his feet. Another gray, another gain of 12 or 13. Don't yeah, we? so one more time. Move, Move those chains, chains and, and they're gonna drop them chains. chains. So another first down that makes it number four on this first drive. And the Cougars are going Cougar football. Already three minutes off the clock, and they're at the seven, eight yard line of the Sabre Pick Cats. your poison, don't it? Do you attack white side or do you attack Ramitas? You don't throw the ball, whatever you do. Excuse me there, Martin. And I think that if I was a Sabercats, I'd be coming with everybody right here uh, because I would not expect the pass. Not that they cannot. It's just not traditionally in the, in the, you know, it's not something traditionally Ramitas does. Here we go. He's actually for the snap, and it's going to be a dive. It's going to be busted outside. And, in fact, the Sabercats listen to what we're saying up here. Or maybe we just coincidentally got it. But bottom line, Sabercats blitz and tackling him for a loss as he was trying to bounce it outside. Whiteside tried to bounce it out to the right. And tackle for a two-yard loss. Donut Salinas making the call. Second and ten. Uh, second and goal from the ten-yard line, that is, for the Cougars. We're down at 8.15, almost four minutes gone off the quickly off the third quarter. But Cougars, Sabercats yet to touch the ball. Yes, uh, it has been all Cougars in the, in the quarter. Four minutes to the end of the ball for about four, what, four minutes? Four minutes. Driving it down the throat. Ramirez at the helm. He's back there with, looks like white sides. It's going to keep it himself up the middle. And he runs over his own guy. <laughs> oh, he followed the running back, and the running back turned around. I wonder where he's at. And he ran him over. Ramirez is running so tough that he ran over white sides. Over white sides, if anybody. You're going to run over him. Oh, white man. sides gets credit for half a tackle on the play. <laughs> Third and goal from the seven yard line. And we're under eight minutes left in the third quarter. It's been all Cougar football after the first drive of the game after a 74-yard run. Uh, pick up a first down, a fourth and one, and a 10-yard pass on a first and goal from the 10. Gave them a, a, a touchdown. That's been all for the same guys for right now. The Cougars are waiting for it to get to one second. They'll call a timeout, run more time off the clock. We're going to be almost seven minutes or five minutes off the clock. That is called. Sabre Cats yes, have sir. yet to time touch the ball. Time of possession. Is that? Yes, sir. Is that Pop. good? Is that good? It depends. If your number is larger than the other team's number, that is good. All right. So right now it's been all Cougars football. And they have added for four minutes and 50 seconds. Uh, That's a lot. Pablo, you're, you're making the statement right here? Yes, sir. The Cougars. And again, why fix what isn't broke? Just eight yards, 40 yards, 11 yards, 12 yards, eight yards, eight. They're just chaotic. Move them chains. Move, move them, them chains. Move them, move them, move them, move them. You started moving, moving. Move uh, I like to move and move it. I like to move those. What, another shirt? No, sir. <laughs> they say, you know what they told me? That we say so many things, Paolo, that uh, we're going to look like a, yeah, gonna have like a, a race like jacket, a, a race car jacket. Oh, <laughs> like a race car? <laughs> yeah. Or, yes, or, or like a paletero. You know, the guy sells ice cream and that all uh, different yes, kinds of ice cream. Everywhere. Yeah, that's going to be your shirt, Paolo, before you're over. Watch out. Uh, but for right now, ladies and gentlemen, it just says, move them chains. And, of and course, and to the right, you're going to have a uh, superior oil change, and that is in Edinburgh and in Sherryland, two locations. And in Sherryland. Yeah, two locations. Que mas quieres? If you're Sherryland and you're coming to Edinburgh, change the oil before you get over here. Change your oil at Superior Oil. And again, we're getting done at G GVL. That is Mr. G helping us there with some T-shirts. GVL. Thank this, you very much. This time, Guerrero on the shotgun motions uh, Ramita to the left with major trips. 
And he's there is a penalty on the play, usually on the offense. That's why they stop it so early. Uh, and Did they a game? We don't know. It's going to be something on the offense, don't it? You know, usually why they did not let the play continue. Here we go. Here comes the call, and it's going to be false start oh, by the it's Cougars. it's going to be boogie on the Cougars. Boogie. Saturday Night Fever. So with 7.09, it's going to be now a third and goal from the 17. Five-yard, little five-yard penalty. 17-yard line. No, so I'm going to go, go, I'm gonna go 12. 12, don't it? Hey, what they, hey the, the clock is the, Board quick there, Paul. Yes, sir. They had the 12 before I even looked over there. Here we go. It's going to be third and goal from the 12-yard line for the Cougars. All right, get out on the shotgun. you got trips to the left and say one receiver to the right. Looks like Cats are going to blitz, and they do. And Guerrero has time. He throws it to the corner if the receiver can make the adjustment, Outside. and he does. He Are they going to give it to him? Nope. Oh, he tried to tippy-toe. I'll tell you what, give credit to Michael Cantu for almost making a tackle and dangling his toes in the end zone on the left side, but apparently he was out of bounds. Do you get three points? You, apparently not. Uh-oh. Apparently the Cougars Dude. thinking fourth and 12 is no big deal. I would not wake up the dead. Uh, I'll tell you what, I, you know. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. Looks like the Cougars have already made their decision. They're going for it. Guerrero is going to be in the shotgun. Matt. Matt Lamitas in the shotgun. Where? Ramirez. Guerrero with white side. Uh, Matt Ramirez with white side. The donut has made the call. And it's going to be a pass. And he's going to he's going to keep it himself. He's going to juke and jive. And Bumble. Bumble's Bumble. the ball. And the Sabercats have the ball. They're able to return it. They've got a few blockers on the 40. The 50. He's got one man walking him down. The 30. If he can make the play. All the way down. And the fumble return. Why wake oh, up the so, dead? Yes. Dion Taylor picks up the fumble. Flag on the field. And rumbles and bumbles all the way down to the 12. But Donut, the eagle eye, has spotted a flag. It's probably a block in the back. Well, that, now that, that's over there. There's a flag right here. And then that, is that a flag over there? That was a change of possession. Because we have a white sand, a white bag, sandbag right here too, Paulo. You see it? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So they got to come Ooh. back and pick up a bunch of bean that bags. That probably is a flag. That's or maybe a couple of bean bags. Yeah. But there's a flag here at the 45. It's, I bet it's going to be Sabercat ball uh, and then probably some sort of a mistake by block the return. The Why? The back Why? Why? Uh, I would have kept field goal. I mean, we were just Don't like. Do not wake up the dead. Yes, I just take three. You know? Make it 23 to 7. Now you give them the ball. Momentum makes back on the Sabercat side. Watch out. They've been known to score a lot of points in the second half. Class of 84, class of 84, class of 84. <laughs> uh, if you were here last week, ladies and gentlemen, you know what we're talking about. If you tuned in to the Bobcat Economy. Yeah, I can hear you, remember? Yeah, I told you. Off, uh, yeah, I tell you, we can hear each other even when we take off the mic, ladies and gentlemen. That tells you Donut and Paul are pretty loud. There's no doubt about it. Of course, Cat TV does a great job. The equipment up here, uh, all their sound systems. Hey, next their... week, next week, we're not going to need nothing. Just come in here and boop, plug it in. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. Martin Thoders is Martin. getting it going like that. Yeah. Tell Martin to bring some water. Here we go. The refs are finally done talking about it. All right. Here comes the call, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get about about three chapters of, on this call. Here you go. Yep. They, oh, they went ahead. so they're going to get the ball way over here yep. like if nothing ever happened. Here we go. So nothing ever happened, ladies nothing. and gentlemen. It's going to be first and ten for the Sabercats after a run back from the seven, seven yard line and ran it back all the way down to the seventeen. Deion Taylor, yard line. Merry Christmas. Seventeen yard line all the way back. So it's going to be first and ten Sabercats at the seventeen yard line of the Cougars after the Cougars were first and goal at the. Eight. And went for it on a fourth and twelve. What's this fourth down? Everybody going for and it. And Ramirez, year? who is not his forte, is not throwing the ball, doing it. Hey, well, let me tell you, we we're talking to two coaches on the field before the game, and one coach told the other coach he would drop the ball twice at the first time. Oh my god! We'll wait and see if he was right. This guy, wait, we gotta wait for this guy. He's coming with the beanbag, on man. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna be burned out. He's gonna have to stop he and stretch. Up both. He picked up both. Wow, look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, the referees have got to be in shape as well. And apparently they ran they 80 are. yards. No, oh, you, Paul, look at that. He went 10, He 20, went over 30, here, 30, 40, and then over 50, here. 60, 70, 20. 70, and 30, and 100, and then 70 back. 170 wow. yards. He ran pretty much. I'd uh, be at a rest area drinking coffee. He would have stopped. 
and called a, a referee timeout. All right, Lopez hands out the ball right up the gut, and it's a great nifty run. Good job by uh, Anthony Aradondo. The quick dive as he gains about nine to take it down to the nine. Woke up somebody. Mm, boy, the Cougars. That's, you know, you kind of just get a little, a little too excited about things. Ah, they can't stop us. Oh, they sure can. It's going to be second and two from the nine-yard line. <clears throat> Excuse me there. Here we go. It looks like they have Aradondo in the backfield with Lopez. As they get instruction from Salinas, second and two. All they have to do is get to the eight-yard line for a first down. It's going to be a pass. He throws it deep to the corner. He's got a man. And oh, <laughs> all we can say was he was pretty covered. Uh, he was pretty well covered by uh, Armando uh, Garcia of the Cougars, and they both basically fought for the ball, and it went out of their uh, both of their hands out of the end zone, and it is an inco a glorified incomplete pass. That was Michael Arguez on the attempt there. Look, look Martin heard us. Martin bringing up some more. Martin, God, this guy is outstanding. What a great job you've done. The school, the Edinburgh School District, is lucky to have him here. All right, we got third and two coming up. 5:56 left in the third quarter. It's still Cougars 20. The Sabercat seven. Here we go, Pablo. Lopez with Aradondo on his right hip. Motion takes it across to the left. This is their favorite play right here up the middle. And he jukes and jives. That's going to be down to one. That's going to be a first down, don't it? And they're going to move, move those chains, chains and drop, drop them chains. chains. So put a first down. That is the first first down of the second half for the Cougars after the, I mean, for the Sabercat. That was after the Cougars picked up four on their first drive. But turned the ball over on a fumble on a fourth and go from the eight so it is cougars first and go knocking on the door knocking on the door lopez sends motion across the play there's, there's a traditional play of theirs they just they just depends what what gap they're going to fire no, they didn't get in half yard line yes this time the cougars stuffed the middle on that one and a no gain at best uh, uh to take it to a second and goal of about one to go hey paul after waking up the dead the only good thing is you did take seven minutes off the clock so Advantage to the Cougars there because if they score, Cougars can get the ball and maybe take it to the fourth quarter. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's Cougars 20, Sabercats 7, 509 and County left in the third quarter. And the uh, Sabercats are almost peeking in the door. They are? No, they're looking in. They're looking Is, in. Anybody there? Hello. All right, here we go. Hello. Let's see if they answer the call. Right, let's see if they just go on in. Are they going to walk in themselves? And he's going to hand it off. He breaks outside of the sweep. He's just got to go in. It's touchdown, Sabercats. So with, Basile, Basile. with 449 left, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Sabercats now. Thank you, Martin. 13, waiting for the point after. And it's Cougars 20. We have 449 left in the third quarter. And we got us a ball game. Adedondo on the dive, bounces it out to his left side and breaks through a, through ta a couple of tackles and jumps for his life. And crosses the plane. It took a while for him to get there, but he did get there. And that, like Paul's content, he did dive across the plane of the of the of the end zone there to make it 13-20. Here comes the point after. Raymond Partida, good snap, good hold, and a good kick, and it's extra point. Sabercats. How important is What's that, that block kick earlier in the first half? <laughs> Four forty-nine left, ladies and gentlemen. We got a new game here. It is now. Uh, it is the Sabercats 14 and the Edinburgh North Cougars 20. Once again, it's Donut Salinas, Paul Osbury, bringing you action from uh, Edinburgh, Texas at Edinburgh Cat Stadium. A little shout out going out to my compadre, Comadre Letty in Houston. All the way to Houston. All the way to Houston. We got some East in. Texas shout outs tonight. We got some Houston people. Just go to valleycentral.com. Go to. Uh, High school football streaming, and, and you're going to hear it live. You're going to hear us live in Edinburgh, and that's Paul Osbury and Donut Salinas. A little shout-out going out to the people in Houston. Let the uh, Eduardo, everybody tune in to valleycentral.com and go to high school football streaming, and you're going to find us there in Edinburgh. Once again, special thanks going out to, of course, Cat TV. That is KATS Channel 17. Pablo, we got a good ball game here. Very good one. Another shout out to, again to the College Station. We got Claudia and Lottie and Miguel and Andres, uh, kids of Norma and Eddie Guerra out there listening at College Station. Uh, Norma, you're missing a good one because Saber Cats are coming back. <laughs> shout out going out to Ms. Osbury. Ms. Osbury, how you doing? No Ms. Osbury's on the road. Oh, She's headed to Louisiana. Oh, no, mas. Gambling. Puro gambling. Get that. Oh, yeah. Hey, have a safe trip. Hope to see you back. Safely and soon. Once again, shout out going out to Miss Osbury. Also, shout out going out to Mr. and Mrs. Donato Salinas Sr. 
Enjoy the game, bad mom. You just hear me. You won't see it tonight. Raymond so. Partida puts his foot into it, hits it through the end zone as the Cougars accept the fact that they're not going to return it and we'll get it on the 25. As the momentum shifts. It is. Right now, right now, yeah. look, look. it's even. I kind of call it even. They've been a second half team. Oh, boy. Cougars are in a, are in a fight tonight. Then I used to get bloodied so early. It's almost like watching a heavyweight fight and watching the champ has taken some punches tonight. He's ahead on the scorecard, but not by much, and he's got a bloody lip. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First and 10, Cougar football. It's the second time they're touching the football in the second half. It is first and 10 from the 25, hand off. Get Edel to white sides, up the left side. That's where they've been gaining most of the yards of the left guard and tackle. And this time, the Sabercats had nothing to do. They're gonna say, no, not no Moss. Uh, actually, no Moss. Yeah. And for a gain of one and a half, on the left side where they've been making all their yards tonight. Wasn't there a fight? Who was it that said no mas? Oh, that was... Uh, Chavez? Chav no. Uh, um, Cesar Chavez? Duran? No, no, no. Yeah, Duran. No, Duran. There you go. You had to go further back. Yeah. <laughs> no mas. Oh, yeah. No mas. <laughs> no mas. Mm -hmm. right. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we have an injury in the field. He's getting off on his own, but he's going to have to step out for at least one play. I don't think he wanted to go out, but they will make him... Uh, Lead for one play, and that is number 75 for the Cougars. Can you give me a name? He's doing all right. Oh, he's doing all right. Yes, sir. That's Aaron Rivera, who is walking off in his own power. So we had no problem talking about the kid because he's going to be all right. He's walking off. All right, so here we go. It's going to be second and eight coming up. 435 and counting left in the third quarter. It is the Cougars over the Sabercats by the score of 20 to 14. Sabercats are looking at two receivers on the right and one to the left. Guerrero in the backfield with two running backs. One is really traditionally a blocker. And he's going to do the quarterback read, and oh. he gives it. He gives it, and it's uh, not the correct read because Whitesides loses another couple yards. And I'll tell you what, the Sabercats have made some adjusting and because that they've run that in that exact same spot probably 12 times in a row, and now these last two times in a row the Sabercats were ready. You better start passing the ball because these guys are Or run somewhere passing. else. Yeah. Run home, run home, run home. Yes, sir. The, the, uh, the Cougars have are the well is dry on the left side of the Cougars line as the Sabercats have stuffed two runs in a row. Here you go. Guerrero on the shotgun. Third and ten. This time it is a pass. Guerrero surveying the situation. He's being pressured by the Sabercats. He busted outside to the to his right. He's scrambling. He's got a few guys. Oh, but I'll tell you what, he might be short. Yeah, he is short. Give him credit for a nifty run of about eight, but he needed 11. It's going to be fourth and about three, don't it? Maybe two. Fourth and one. Fourth and one. Oh. Yeah, the fine. Cougars respect the Sabercats tonight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as here comes the punting unit, and the Cougars realize we're in hey, a ball, ball game. Hey, Paul, and, and, you know, I miss my family, and, and I'm sure you miss your, your Whenever your, they're not your, around, your, your don't you're right about that, brother. Yeah, you know, and, and right now, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? We're having a blast. Yeah, so and just a little it peace of mind. Easier. It makes it easier. A little, a little break, a little mental break. I know you miss your family. We know why. What's up? You know, family. got to do family stuff. Yeah. So, again, you know, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to, you know, Valley Centro and Cat TV. We're having a blast, me and Paul, myself. So, Paul, thanks for being there for us. And, and you know, we had another man on the field, and there's a the flag. There's the flag. Coach Salinas was screaming his absolute brains out. As he saw something in advance, and Coach Salinas is Make him right. punt it again. Make him punt it again. Let me see. Uh, yes, sir. I would I would, I'd take, take a chance at another potential return. Yes, sir. I'd take it back and have him do it again. All right, well, Absolutely. We, I'll, I'll make him do it again. Yeah, he is. He's pointing back. Let's get back there. Uh, here comes the flag. Here comes the call. I mean, right here. Here we go. A little shift. Oh, they had too many men on the field. You didn't see him? I, I did not see it. Oh, yeah, that was a guy trying to run out in the ball snap. Oh, he didn't make yeah, it? Yeah, he didn't make it by a lot. Donut Salinas, former referee, can spot that 14,000 miles away. Uh, Donut, great call, picking that up. We, uh, well, You got tremendous analysis hey, tonight. Hey, my George, my brother-in-law, George Darby, does he, he tell you right now because of my eyes. So he can big. spot that. You <laughs> see on the moon right there? I can call a holding call all the way at the moon. Here we go. He's going to bring him back another five to call it fourth and six now coming up and they'll redo it again they're going to punt again 242 left in the third quarter ladies and gentlemen we have a good one here in edinburgh texas it's paul osbury i'm Don salinas we're bringing you action of south texas high school football and it's been good tonight timeout saber cats that not the right people what? on the field oh that's what happens when one you two three four five six seven eight nine okay they're nine. not clear 
Yeah, they're clearly missing a few folks, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Now in soccer, you can you can go minus a guy or two. That's because you you kind of you want to. But in hockey, I mean, uh, hockey you can yeah. a penalty because of a penalty. Yeah. Uh, but I'll tell you what, uh, a great job to the coaching staff, the SaberCats. Uh, there's always there's always a coach. There's several coaches designed. Uh, there there have several jobs. There's always a get back coach, uh, the coach who walks the sideline to everybody get back. There's always a coach that counts players. There's always a coach that helps the coach keep track of this and that. And whoever was in charge of counting the players notified Coach Salinas, and he made the right call. Let's get a timeout. Let's get it right. Let's get a good return. All right. So it's going to be a re reset up again for the punt for the Cougars. And Sabercats getting ready for the return. 2:42 left in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. And still the Cougars 20. The Sabercats from Robert Vela, 14. Sabercats are looking to return the ball. Man set up at about the 36-yard line. Here comes the punt. Pablo, are you going to take us through? Fidel Rosco back to punt for the Cougars. And they're definitely, but looks like the Sabercats are in punt return formation. It means they're going to basically hold up the Cougars as best they can. A line drive punt that goes oh. over the head of the Sabercat, but it takes a Sabercat hop, so he's going to be able to return it. Uh, give credit to the Cougar punter for basically hitting a pretty neat little spiral. And all they netted was maybe four yard, a four yard difference, don't it? Yeah. But oh, uh, give credit to uh, Fidel Orozco. He hit a, a kind of a pretty much of a bullet wow. and surprised the Sabercat punter went over his head. And he did feel it cleanly after the first hop and returned to what, the 34, 35? Oh, he went out of bounds on the 30. Yeah, 30 yard line. I thought he was 34 yard line. Yeah, right. I guess he had just gone out of bounds a little bit earlier. All right, so it's going to be first and 10. Sabre got football. They each, uh, Cougars touched the ball twice. They turned it over on a fumble. Sabre Cats have touched it one time and they have scored. And here's their second possession. Don't think your, uh, your unofficial statistics, which are pretty official to me. Saber catch that three receivers to the left, one to the right. This time's gonna be a dive right up the gut. And he bounces it outside. Oh, give credit. You know, nice try by Anthony Adadando. There was nothing doing up the middle. He tried to bounce it outside. Seventy's gotta come off the field. Seven Somebody grabbed his jersey. What Seven, happened? Seventy lost the helmet. Off went out. Well, nobody noticed. Yeah, he's right there, number seven. He just kicked it Oh, for the Sabercats. Yeah. Okay, I was looking at the Cougars. All right, so it's going to be second and ten. He got back maybe to the last minute. It's 206, 205 and counting. That's the third quarter. It's Sabercats ball at their own 30-yard line. Sabercats trips left and uh, split to the right. Uh, with 15 seconds left on the play clock, Salinas audibles. He's got plenty of time. Edmund Lopez surveyed the situation. And the snap is up. It's going to be a quick pass to the left. He's got a few blockers. He bounces it outside on the 40, on the 45. He needed 10, and he got 16. So for the Sabercats, move, move those chains. chains. Good job. Michael uh, Arguez. Yes, Michael Arguez making a good grab. A quick, a quick hitch as they had. They sprinted out, I think, the tight end as an additional blocker. And he got the blocks and got a gain of about 11 or 12. All right, it'll be first and 10 for the Sabercats. The ball moved quickly to the 43-yard line. Great play. Good job. That's the first time they've done that tonight uh, for the Sabercats. They got trips right and split left. And the ball is up. It's going to be a run. He gets it to his running back out of Dundo, who kind of stumbles forward for about two yards. Yeah. Uh, and that was well earned. Yeah, pick up two yards. It'll be second and eight coming up. 130 left, 129 and counting for the third quarter to come to an end right now. It's still the Cougars 20. Sabercats 14. How big is that miss extra point? Very. Hey, they, look, went back to second and 10. I guess his knee hit the ground. Uh, I see what you're saying, don't it? They probably, you're probably right. And it got split left for it right. They basically have two wings, which means it's like kind of a guy just it's kind of set a little bit backwards from the end of the offensive line, both sides on both sides. Lopez in the shotgun without a dondo. It's going to be a quick pass, and he hits him in stride. That's a great job, a Lopez to Gomez connection. All the way to the 49-yard line on the Cougar side of the field already. We have a third, and Kevin Nadro, very manageable third down coming up for the Sabercats. I like the play calling, Donut, for that. What happened in the first half was the Sabercats did a couple of pump fakes on that quick hitch. And basically scared the Cougar defense. They're expecting him to fake the hitch and go upfield, and they haven't done that. And so that's a couple of completions in a row. All right, here we go. This time it's going to be a run. He hands it out of Dondo. He's supposed to go up the middle. He bounces it outside and had nowhere to go. And maybe lost a yard. maybe lost a yard as he tried to get back to the line of scrimmage, but he ran out of room, and there's a big giant white line called the out of bounds. Yeah, it's going to be fourth down and three. So I see a punting team coming in, and it's going to be plenty of time for the Sabercats to Pablo. They both touched the ball twice. Uh, Cougars have four first down. Sabercats have three. It's a pretty good uh, second half here still, but uh, Sabercats have managed to get uh, 
That was uh, seven points. And uh, so right now, as we stand, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of the third quarter. We're going to the final We've quarter. We've got a fight. And we got a good fight going, and it's going to be the Sabercats punting to the Cougars. They'll be punting from about their own 43-yard line. And 12 minutes left, Pablo, what do you got? Let me tell you, uh, I talked to Coach Salinas uh, before the game, and, you know, I'm just going to use his analogy. Uh, I said, Coach, you know, the, the Cougars have a good defense. What are you going to do? He said, we're going to fire all rounds. And when we run out of bullets, we're going to throw the gun at them. Uh, so in other words, <laughs> Coach Salinas says we're going to do, do everything. We're going to do everything we can. We're going to do every play in the playbook. And we're just flat out going to do everything humanly possible. I say what? Follow that's it's your working. call or his call? That was his call. <laughs> that was his call? He's going to punt. He's expecting to roll out to the right. As he's got enough blocking, I can tell you that already. It's fake! a fake punt. He's not going to get it. The Cougars were ready. He got stuffed. That had play had no chance from the get-go. And the Cougars were ready for that because I'll tell you what. Lupe Quintero said, hey, you're not going to fake it right here, not right now. Lupe Quintero introduced himself. Hey, mucho gusto, Mr. P uh, fake punter. I'm named Lupe Quintero, and that went maybe a gain of one. He needed four, and he got one, don't it? Good they call, Pablo? Uh, yes, I think, you know, believe it or not, I think that was a good call, but for the fact where the play was designed to go, uh, he could have easily bounced it outside. Now, I know why they ran it there. Yeah, but I think you're better off going on that side kick if there's a chance you run. If you don't, you punt it. And what happened, the reason they ran it there, Donut, is because they were expecting that, that outside linebacker to attack from the outside, expecting the punter, okay. but he stood his ground. I and you. I can tell you why, because he had a the guy attacked him in an unusual way. These guys don't usually just try to block me like that. What's going on? So he stood his ground and stuffed the play. Give credit to the, the Give credit to Lupe Quintero. So it's first and 10 ball at the 49-yard line of the Cougar side. And it's going to be a run up the middle. This time White sides. He can break through the line. He just stiff arms. If he stiffed armed him, he's still running, ladies and gentlemen. And now uh, uh, give that a good gain of about six. Yeah. Second and four coming up. They're calling it second and five on the board. We'll call it second and five also. It was a good run by uh, White sides. So it's going to be second and five. We're 3 11 30 left in the ball game. Yes, sir. Tabor Cats are hanging in there. But now the Cougars is, is the machine of the offense, has the ball. And it's Guerrero surrounded by in a three three running back set, split left, split right. He's asking for the ball. It's going to be uh, to, to white sides this time. Give credit. Great job. I'm going to give a number oh, here 70. and a name. Yeah, 78. Uh, Rico Alfaro, he just basically shot through like a rocket and tackled him for about a one or two yard loss. Under 11 minutes left in this ball game. Cougars 20, Sabercats 14. Once again, it's Paul Osbury. Donald Salinas is bringing the action from Edinburgh Cat Stadium. We have a good one. We have a very good one, ladies and gentlemen. Guerrero in split left, split right. He's got Ramirez on the bottom, and he's got a three running back set. He sends him out in motion. Usually, that's going to be a quick, there it is, a quick screen, a quick pass to the white side to back out of the backfield. That's basically a glorified pitch, like a glorified option. And they're going to move those chains. chains. Big play right there, I think. Good call. Have they run that play tonight? Yes, sir, they have. That's I, uh, that's what I call a glorified. Well, oh, he almost, missed him the last time, wasn't he? He yeah. threw it over his head. Yeah, they were going this way right. last time. Right, you're and, right. And that's just that's basically just like a pitch, like a sweep. to the. But this time he threw it, uh, and he gave it to him in more space. That's why they throw the ball out there, don't it? And he, he made the best of it. All right, so pick up on the first down. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Cougars. Ball at the 37-yard line. Split left, split right. Hands it to white side. Once again, goes up the, up the right side. This time they're attacking the right guard Nine. and right tackle. Uh, they attack the absolute you-know-what of the left side. They're now running up the right side at will. Yeah, a pickup of nine. So call it a second and free down. Second and free. Free like it costs nothing? Nothing. Just throw it in the end zone. Here you we go. You can do it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they're going to Because they still have another chance. Yeah, they're going to pass the Chavez right here in the end zone. Oh, my gosh. I bet they try to give it to Ramita somehow, some way. All right, here we go. We'll wait and see what's going to happen. It's second and one with 9.50 left. And, in fact, it's going to be a white sides. And he just what, looked like he was just jogging yeah. in the park. Uh, it looked like he was jogging in the park. You're basically saying, is anybody going to try to tackle me? <laughs> and he didn't get touched, ladies and gentlemen, until 12 yards later. A solid gain. And they're going to move, move those chains. chains. Wow. I mean, uh, the best way I can describe it, his white side was basically just jogging. Yeah. It, it looked awkward at best. Yeah. Uh, and uh, basically what he was doing, Donut, was he was waiting for his blockers. He had some lead blockers. He was yeah, trying he to, just sucking a jog. Yeah, like, around. yeah, you guys ready? Uh, whenever you're ready, go ahead. Uh, wow. And he followed his blockers. Uh, good job. Good, good patient running by white side to gain a 12. How many yards does he have? Do we have any kind of numbers? 
Here we go. Same formation. Split left, split right. Get him the shotgun and three running back set. Here we go. Steady dose of white side. Oh, he ran into a little Yeah, guy. give credit. <laughs> give, give credit to Big Outside Dua for a half a tackle. And you're not going to push him back. No. Uh, what's happening, though, and I can see that very clearly, is the, the Sabercat line is stunting. Uh, not that their growth is shrinking or anything like, you know, like stunted growth. No. <laughs> what happened is they're basically shooting at, at uh, diagonal directions and it's really causing disruptions on the uh, the uh, Cougar line. And if you keep doing that, that's going to lend itself to the outside. Let's see what the Cougars counter with. Here we go. And, in fact, they're going to go up the gut again, and he is stuffed again. This time the Sabercats are doing a good job of causing, uh, disrupting the offensive line of the Cougars and only a gain of maybe one, call it a, what, a third and two? Third and four, third and three. Call it a third and long three, third and four. Yeah, Don't it, when you're four. stunning the defensive lineman like that, I mean, of course, there's always a counter to the counter, but it, it lends itself to the outside run. Pablo, you don't pick up the first down. Do you kick three? Oh, I think now they're going <laughs> to kick three for us. Yeah, or try at least. All right, here we go. We'll wait and see. It's third and four. 8-17 left in the ball game. It's Cougars 20, Sabre Cats 14. All right, looks like going to be a, a quarterback keeper on Guerrero. First All he down. needed was, was three, and he got about three. No, fourth down. He's calling fourth down coming up. What? Fourth down. He's shy of down. about half a yard, maybe not even half a yard. We're going to call it. Kicking in, coming in. No, no. don't. I think this time you go for it. I mean, we're talking. Oh. They, they probably need three inches for a first down, don't it? Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Go for it. You're the Cougars. No, hard count. No, go for it. Hard count. I'd get under the center and go quarterback sneak. No. They went back. They got same formation they've been running on. Get out on the shotgun, a three running back set. And it's going to be a white side. He's got plenty of room. He bounces. And he continues to fight free. Touchdown, and it's touchdown Cougars! Cougars! White sides on a tough run up the middle. On a fourth and inch, ladies and gentlemen, from the five-yard line, White side gets in about the four and about the three and about the two and about the one. You got the, you made the call right, don't the it? End zone. So with Even got hit in the end zone. 29, it is now Cougars 26, Sabercats 14. Do you go for two? They go for two? Uh, no, sir. You go for one. That makes it a two-possession game if they get the extra point, in my opinion. Well, they're going to go for two. They are. They're going for two. You know, every points. coach has his little thing, little, little, little things on it. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, it, 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 basically, it's almost like in, like in Las Vegas. You have a, a basic uh, a did, gambler's club. Did that take the air out of our fans? It did. It, it did. did uh, because the Sabercats were hanging in there. There's a timeout. They're going to think about it. Uh, Bear, I guarantee you there's a few coaches in Coach Garza's hip. Go for it. No, don't. Kick, go this, do that, do that. Okay, you know what? Time out. Okay, everybody calm down. <laughs> That's Paul giving you the, the coaching side of you there. I heard and, it. I hear it all Yeah, and, and it's good, Coach, and that's good. To, you know, if you get your coaches involved, that means you got everybody in the ballgame and, and you got your coaches helping you out and, and looking. I mean, two heads is better than one, and if you have five or six, it's even better. So, Especially right now, Dragon. For right now, it's a, a timeout on the field. And, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a good one tonight. The Sabercats are young, second year, but let me tell you what, uh, watch out, ladies and gentlemen, watch out. These uh, these people are... Uh, if they continue on this route, uh, yes, sir, don't. If they continue on this route, of course, they went last year, as we know, uh, basically 0 and 10, and now, what are they sitting at, five wins, probably five and two, five and three? Uh, we don't know what's going to happen in the result tonight, but I'll tell you what, uh, give credit to the Sabercats for going up 500% on their victories last year, up from none to five at this point and the cougars are in fact going to go for two their usual formation on uh, this particular drive which is split left split right means one receiver left one right cadetto in the shotgun in the three running back set the two running backs in their front of them are basically glorified blockers and with white sides in the backfield and it's going to be a white sides keeper and he breaks it free he just can't i'll tell you what don't it I don't know why they're not raising their hands yet. Did Cougars! Two-point conversion! Two-point conversion! <laughs> Coug- we, uh, how, we, uh, right. how do we wait? Right. What are we saying? Cougars! Two-point two conversion. Okay, ready? ready. Cougars! Two-point two conversion. conversion! So with 7.29 left, ladies and gentlemen, in this ballgame, it is now Edinburgh North Cougars 28 and the Robert Bella Sabercats 14. We still got 7.29 left. We have a real good ball game. Uh, certainly with the Cougars at this point. And the Sabercats, the Cougars are starting to pull away. The Sabercats are not out of it, but I'll tell you what. Uh, I do see, are they letting in? Well, They're Paul, letting in that female singer over there. Yeah, the, she, she just drove up. Uh, they drove she up, drove yeah. Up. They have a parking spot yeah. for 
uh, the overweight lady, the singer. Uh, she they, just they're in the parking. She's, she's parking. Just, uh, she's parking. She's, she's parking. Just, well, she's got a reserved spot right there. And they gave her the spot. That means they, yeah. they, they told her, they said, come on in, ma'am. Come on in. Paul. Yes. And they got Martin Thornton working on the sound system right now. Momentum momentum shift. It's going to be a uh, fake punt. You well, could have, you could have pinned him back at the 15, the 10, and and you know momentum was on your side. You had just scored. Oh, uh, I mean, hey, but that, those are coaches. That's why he's coaching. That's why he gets paid. That's why he gets paid the big bucks, don't yeah. it? But I tell you what, you know, give credit to Salinas. You know, they're they're trying. They're playing the Cougars. You know, you might as well. You might as well, don't it? You might oh, as well okay. try for everything. Right. Yeah, You're right. you might as well, uh, because you need you need a break. You need something good to happen. Uh, and oh, here we got a good return. He just needs to make a move. Uh, give credit to, I'm not sure, Number uh, the kicker, 93, uh, Diego Sanchez actually making the tackle, but not until 40, he reaches the 42-yard line. A good return for the Sabercats. A little bit of light. Yeah. Paul, they come full speed. Yes, that's that's a brave return. Right? This is like, but but I'll tell you what, Donna, believe it or not, the faster you charge, you nullify uh, the momentum of the kickoff return, the kickoff team. Uh, because of the, the angles, you can easily juke people by coming at each other so fast. You use their momentum against them. Wow, I, I mean, he's coming full speed. Nevertheless, it's going to be first and 10 for the Sabercats at their own 41-yard line. All right. We got a different quarterback, by the way, don't it? Do we? Yes, sir. Looks like uh, Tristan Gomez in the backfield. We've seen him before. He's pretty good. Okay, well, he's there now. And he's going to be a, 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 a read option. He throws it into traffic, and it's... Interception Cougar! Who, who did I tell you was having a good night, Pablo? Number oh. nine. Number nine. Let me give a shout out. We got some coaches. We got some guys, some regular listeners doing it. These guys are always on ValleyCentral.com. Who's that? We Bob? got Coach De Los Santos. We got Joey, Jesse, and me, whoever you are, me, uh, listening. On Valley. Hey, guys, it's because I got a new phone and I don't know the numbers. Uh, give, me, give me your names, guys. Mick, Joey, Jesse, and me listening on ValleyCentral.com. <laughs> Guys, we love you tuning in. Of course, you guys are buddies of mine. I'm sure you're queuing and drinking uh, uh, fruit punch, guys. Uh, I'm sure you're having a great time. Thank you for listening to ValleyCentral.com. Uh, send me some names. It's probably Jeff's phone. I, I got a new phone, well, guys. At least get the name from me. Yes, me. Lightning. Lightning that struck. There we go. First and 10 Cougar football at the 49-yard line. And Cougars ball in the usual formation. Last few drives, they got split left foot right. Uh quarterback it looks like Guerrero surrounded by three running backs gonna be dive up the middle another steady dose of white sides he gets touched on the two is still on his feet he got touched on the two and goes an additional seven for gaining nine don't it nine yards on the play here we go and oh what here happened we here we go let's go at it now nah, nah, that's not good don't it oh they're gonna take they better get rid of both those players uh I'm gonna, you know, I don't, I really can't tell who started it, but I'll tell you what, who finished it is the refs and the coaches. Wow. Uh, both those players should be gone, ladies and gentlemen. We had oh, some, they will be. Yeah, they should be. Uh, I'm gonna say that a Saber Cap player uh, just went way too hard and too long and went at the biggest player for the Cougars, Unsel Dua. I'll tell you what, he's on a short, he's on a short, he's got a short temper over there. The refs are gonna figure out, but I bet there needs to be some ejections. Yeah, they're both gone. And you know what, Paul? It, it, that got a little way too ugly in, in, in Saldua. I mean, he just lost it. He took right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Donut. What you cannot see is Coach Salinas is huddling his players together on the 50. He's getting them tight, and he's explaining. I'm sure he's explaining, guys. We're better than that. Even though we're losing, you got to keep your composure. We're still in this game. We don't need that. We don't need these penalties. We don't need that. We don't need that. All that difficulty. Uh, and so uh, he's huddling them right now. Give credit to Coach Salinas as he keeps command of his team. Telling we are still in this. We don't need this, guys. They're gone. They, they got to be gone from this game, and it's going to be both players. And uh, Anson Dua was so upset. He took the helmet all the way to, to midfield and just slammed the Sabercat helmet on the floor. Parts of the helmet. He, he broke his helmet. I can't see. No, it wasn't him. Yeah, he broke yes. the other guy's helmet. Yes, the Sabercat helmet. Base, I'm sure he shattered his helmet. Yeah. So uh, we'll see. Here comes the calls. Oh, it's, the ref still want all the players off the field. Right yeah, there you go. Refs are going to take control, ladies and gentlemen, and he should. Uh, the refs are trying to sort it out. Uh, but I tell you what, I would expect at least two ejections, one from each side. Hey, Paul, these games are going to just imagine next year. I can hardly wait to see it next year, man, because you know what? Hey, they're both going to be a little bit more evened out. 79? There you go. 
Yep, yeah, that's Both right. Yeah. Offsetting penalties, we have an ejection. Uh, big old Unsell Dua from the Cougars. Now the fans, are, Sabercat fans are cheering. What they don't realize is they also had a player ejected, but they did eject the big boy from the Cougars over there. Yeah. And that's the right call, don't it? We were talking about that a minute ago. Uh, both those players should be ejected. We don't need that. We don't want to see that in their game. And the referees made the right call. They are, in fact, ejected. But Salinas a little upset, and he's still giving the ref a piece of his mind. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you, you'll see the game later, and, and uh, that's something you don't like to see. You don't like the, the kids to see it because, you know, it just it shows sportsmanship that you don't want to teach your young kids or for small kids to be watching. But nevertheless, it got two ejections out. So it's 7.02 left. Now it is second and two coming up for the uh, – Cougars, they're taking command of the game. We got seven minutes left. They're up by 14 points, and they have a second and three down. All right. Looks like Guerrero on the shotgun. Three running back set, split left, split right. He's going to go to Whiteside, the steady dose of Whitesides. I don't know how he weaves his way through, but he does as Whiteside gets a, a solid gain of about seven. And they're, Oh, he needed two, and they got seven, and they're going to move, move those chains. chains. So 649, they'll set up the chains. They'll start the clock. And ladies and gentlemen, the lady has gotten off her car. Yeah, they said uh, she, she was looking at him like, should I? Should? Yep, ma'am, turn it off, turn it off. And the security is this way, ma'am, this way, ma'am, this way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we start the clock. Six the score will, left. will seal the deal, don't it? First and 10, ball at the 35. All right, Cougar, this time the Sabre catcher blitzing everybody, oh. and it was the wrong time for it because the Sabre, uh, the Cougars ran in the only gap that was free as Whitesides busted. He needed 11. 10, and he got 11, and they're going to move, move those, those chains, chains and run the clock. <laughs> you had not said that all night long. Right? I've been waiting. Oh, okay. You always do the deal, right? Yes. Run the clock. When the, when the, uh, move the chain, then run the clock. Move the chain and run the clock. All right. Bottle making the call. It's first and 10 for the cooler, ladies and gentlemen. I guarantee the lady is tuning up. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. She's getting ready, guys. La, 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 la. La, la, la. Yes, sir. Cougars, they've been they've stuck to this formation all night, and it has worked. Why go away from it? Get out on the shotgun. Here goes Whitesides once again up the right side, and he busts free for another first down. Ooh. He needed 10, and he gets 14. So one more time. Move, Move those chains. chains. Whitesides and drop them chains. chains. It'll be first and goal for the Cougars ball at the nine-yard line. And is it over? Not yet. If they score, you're going to go ahead, just go ahead and, and give her the microphone. But I'll tell you what, Whitesides on his 457,000th carry for the night. How many yards for Whitesides? Seven million yards for Whitesides. That's my guess. We're trying to add up. We need a calculator. Yeah, we need a calculator. We need one of those scientific ones, uh, the scientific scientists use. Okay, this yes. time they went to the right side. Nothing doing uh, as the Sabercats stuff it for a gain of no more than one. Going to be second and goal from the. They're bringing it back to the ten. So he lost a yard there, Pablo. Take Holy. away one yard. Oh, he lost a yard. Get credit to the Sabercats as they've they had enough of a steady dose of right side, right side, left side, left side, right side. And I'll tell you what, this drive they've been going right side, right side, right side. And if I was the Sabercats, I'm going to attack from their left side. Uh, you know, basically what you have to do is you have to stuff the offensive line. Okay, they're going to let it go down to one second, then call the timeout. So we're going to be under five minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Cougar timeout, their last timeout being called. We're at 4.57 left in the ball game. Coach uh, Garza thinking about what he needs to do, and I think if they don't get in the end zone, we're going to see the kicking game maybe. Mm. Got two down. They still got two downs to try, so, which is, is a lot for uh, the way they've been running the ball. And I think these Sabre Cat <laughs> fans have uh, – have had it, but um, once again, uh, the Sabre Cats, second year school, uh, they're doing great. I, I took Coach Salinas before the game. I said, Coach, congratulations on your year. It's not over yet. Yeah, but, not over just, but uh, so far as you call so, you should call it a success if you're judging from, you know, Goldman. Guess what he told me. Yeah, so. and, 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 and after he told me, it makes a lot of sense, Pablo. Yeah, so. He feels uh, feels he, sh he should have won both games he lost. Okay. Remember Donna? Double overtime? Yes. That's tough, man. Six to three loss. No. No, 10, 14, 13, 10, or something really 16, close. 13. 16, 13. And they could have won it, but they fumbled? Yes, they fumbled as uh, Lopez was basically running First into the end, end zone. First and goal the end zone, yeah. And a little yeah. shout-out to my boy, Coach Jeff Pena, swimming coach at Economy. I apologize, Jeff. I got a new phone, and so my numbers are not set. That's uh, me. Uh, <laughs> my, Jeff. My, our boy, Jeff Pena, 
and Jesse and uh, Mig and Joey. And, and me and me and me. And me. Me is Jeff Pena. Ah, Coach, okay. Pena. Coach Pena. His name is Jeff Me Pena. Jeff Me Pena. Always tuning in to ValleyCenter.com. Guys, again, I'm sure you're barbecuing and drinking diet soda. Here we go. Uh, have a good time, guys. Second and ten. Ball at the 10-yard line. Second and go. Here we go. Usual formation split. Left us right. Go ahead, Edo, in the shotgun. Hands it to white sides. Oh, it's a, it's a play-action pass. I don't know why they're going to fix what isn't broke, but apparently... Apparently they did. It was a play action pass Chavez. Uh, to Chavez, but it was covered. Uh, and Guerrero basically threw it over his head out of the end zone. And it is now third, third and goal and from goal. the 10. Third and goal from the 10 for the Cougars. We're down to 451 left in the ball game. It has been a good ball game for most of the night. Uh, Cougars are just trying to put this game away. Uh, it was a still a 20 to 14 game. It was going to be fourth down at midfield. Sabercats selected to go for a mm -hmm. fake. They were held. Cougars got the ball and took it in for eight more points, and that kind of put the game away. For right now, it's third and goal for the 10. Pablo. Yes, sir. Third and 10. It's on the motion. White tie's out. Guerrero's going to throw it. A man to man. It's a penalty. And if it uh, stands, oh. Incomplete. He had caught it in a good defensive e play. Guerrero to Chavez went and hit him in the chest. Yeah, he came down with it, but I, he didn't have possession of it, and the defender put his hand in it. And stripped it out. Here comes the flag. The uh, personal foul against the Cougars again. That'll take you out of field goal range. Probably. Okay, so they're going to accept the penalty. Uh, probably hoping to move him back. Uh, probably out of field goal range, or at least make it much more difficult if there's this third down once again is unsuccessful. I think it's going to be lost of down if it's a personal foul. Maybe that, I think uh, no. Huh? No, not a loss of down. Was that play was over and complete? Oh, after the play. I'm saying, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, he's declining. Okay. Penalty's declining. Leave okay, the well, it's during the, the play. They're yeah. going to say, Lee, we just want you to go ahead and have fourth down and potentially try to kick a field goal. And uh, I don't know what the Cougars are going to do. Yeah, they are. There you go. They are going to kick. They are going to go for the field goal, ladies and gentlemen. They have listened to Donut Salinas. There we go. It's going to be fourth and ten. Fourth and goal from the 10-yard line. Excuse me there. So it's going to be a 27, 26-yard drive for the Cougars. 26, yes, sir. There it is. We're going to see. Paul, you going to take us to it? Yes, sir. This will seal the deal. He's stepping back. Uh, that is Raul Hernandez. At the, uh, Cougars bring some players on late on the field. That's okay. I have plenty of time. Raul Hernandez does his routine. Tez, Tez Ramirez, he's ready. The snap is high, but he brings it down, and the kick looks pretty good from over here. Field goal, Cougars! Hey, we nailed that one. Right hey, Donut, that was right on, brother. All right, well, so with 443 left in the ballgame, Cougars extend their lead to 31 points. So it is now Edmund Blown away at this Cougars point, 31, and the Sabre Cats 14. Pulling away, Donut. Yeah, and, and I mean, again, we had a few plays that to me turned the game around or changed the momentum. On both sides of the field. Remember, the Cougars went for it on fourth down, didn't get in, and uh, Silver Cats got a little, a little life there, and uh, they went and scored. And then on the other hand, uh, Silver Cats were getting a little life by holding the Cougars, but then they got the ball and they were going to punt and pin them down. Maybe yeah. they, you know, back at the 10, the 15, the way they punt, I could see the ball down at the 12 or something, bouncing around. Yeah, yeah. but he faked it and he was held short. Cougar football. About four plays later. Cougars, well, you know how it goes, don't If it works, Coach Salinas, you're brilliant. If it doesn't, yeah, what are you you're doing? right. You're, you're, you're exactly but right. I have to err on the side of, you know what, you're playing the Cougars. You have to take a chance on it. Oh, he told us, like he said, he was going to throw, throw the ground. That's where he threw the pistol at him, ladies and gentlemen. He threw the pistol he at him. He threw it at him. He's out of bullets. He's empty. Like, you know, he's fighting a monster. Like, these bullets don't work. And ah, you throw the gun at him and it still don't work. <laughs> it didn't work either. So, nevertheless, it became Cougar ball and they put eight points on the board quickly. So, that made it 28 to 14. Uh, they throw an interception. They go down and get another three points. So it is now Edmund North Cougars 31 and the Robert Bella Sabre Cats 14, 443 left, ladies and gentlemen. All right, just fresh off a of field goal. Raul Hernandez puts his foot into the ball, hits it kind of high and short. If they do not want the regular Cougar returner, uh, Sabre Cat returner to return it, this time it is brought up field by Justin Rivea as he brings the ball to the 31. And there's some extra curricular activity. Boys, get up. Almost a penalty as the coaches were on the field quickly. <laughs> Look like, woo, these boys' motors are running hot tonight. Uh, hey, Paul, and again, it's going to set up the stage for set Halloween the stage. night. Woo, 
don't it? I'm going to be in costume. What Let's about go. you? No, 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 no. I'm going to let you handle the show. You're going to be dressed up as Donut? Yeah. Donut Salinas? That himself. I'm going to keep it a secret to our li listeners and viewers and, and, out there. And they're going to get to see you, Pablo, because it's going big. We're going to go Joe Bowling, Paul Aldrey, Donut Salinas with ValleyCenter.com, and, of course, Cats TV 17 on a Thursday night. We're going live, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Sabre Cats doing a quarterback keeper up the gut. As Lopez keeps it himself for a gain of about six or seven. And it's going to be Halloween night, and it's going to be spooky. And the quarterback lost his helmet, so I'll see you for one play. That's right. Come see me. And, in fact, there he goes. I'm sorry, that not Lopez. That was uh, Tristan Gomez. I'm sorry. We don't know what will happen because there comes the third string quarterback. Number one. Who number one. He? Number one in your hearts and number one on the field, Elijah Reina is coming in at quarterback probably for no more than play. You're going to call his name. I did. Eli Elija. Elija. Uh, Elija. I'll let you handle that one, Pablo. Okay. Right. Here we go. Second and four coming up. It's a quarterback option. He keeps it himself, and he comes in for one play and gets tackled for one play. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. He lost maybe two yards on the play, so make it now out. a third and – Oh, a game four partners, third and four. Oh, gave, him, gave him one yard? No, you no. Say he gave him a yard today. Yeah, oh. he got back to his yard to the last game. Only college. He lost one yard, Pablo. I'm sorry. Uh, it's going to be third and five. Pablo, we're set up for Halloween night. Ooh. Eight and O oh against eight Yes, and sir. Oh. Can't wait, ladies and gentlemen. And that is uh, Tristan Gomez receiving the the audible from Coach Salinas. They got trips to the right and twins left. I mean, they got everybody split out. Motion across the formation. Turned it into trips to the left. He's going to throw it down the middle, and he's covered. That's another out. interception. Give credit to the Cougar. That is going to seal the deal as Johnny Silva says, thanks for the pass. Oh, my God. Sabre Cats, you gave it what you got. Yeah, I told you. you. My, I, I told you it was going to be interesting, but the Cougars were going to pull away. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it kind of same call. I got interesting. I, I, I thought maybe it'd be a, a little higher scoring by the Sabercats, but I knew that the Cougars could put 37 points on the board. And they have, ladies and gentlemen, it's 31 to 14. We've got three minutes left. Uh, I know Coach Garza ain't going to try and do nothing and run it up or anything, but you got to understand the way these guys are running the ball, you can only do so much as a coach because if you tell them, hey, just run, He's not going to tell him, or he's not going to fall after he picks up 10 yards. He's going to keep on going. Yeah, knowing white sides, that no. guy's motor is, you know, it's kind of 40. He's only got first gear. All he needs is 48 yards. That's all. Oh, boy. Here we go. Get it on the shotgun. And, in fact, they're going to keep doing a steady dose of white sides. This time the Sabercats said we already knew that. And uh, probably maybe back to the line of scrimmage at best. Uh, that was white sides. Again, a Guerrero to Whitesides for his 80 millionth carry for the night, but this time he was stuffed at the line. Okay, it is now looking at 245 left on the clock. It is ticking down. Clock is continuing to how many run. Yards, how many yards do you think he has? Excuse okay, me. I'm going to guess, without even having any idea, Whitesides uh, has rushed for a 170, 170. 266. What? <laughs> Not the whole team. How about Whitesides? 266. What? Yes. Oh, my. I'd call that a good night. Yeah. Do you? I have to. Shout out going out to Florida and uh, Mississippi, wherever he has people everywhere. And they throw the bomb down the side, and it's severely underthrown. He comes back for the ball. Give credit to, oh, he's still on his feet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Edward North is going to just dig it in. That is a Guerrero to Michael Cantu pass down the sideline as Donut and I look at each other, and we expect some extra, extra curricular here shortly as the Cougars with two about two minutes left are driving it on we, i know don't. put the boxing gloves on then i know that's what you're doing here we go first and ten so one more time for the cougars move, move those, those chains. chains and run the clock <laughs> <laughs> they're starting to run it here you go we're under 205 left ladies and gentlemen 31 14 but cougars knocking on the door white sides time. goes up the middle still on his feet touchdown cougars let's do it again Touchdown, Cougars! I know you didn't go with me because I know you're feeling that they should not score anymore, don't they? I don't know. 155 left, ladies and gentlemen. It's now the... Well, I... I hey, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I want you to go ask the gentleman at the... At the I want you to ask Matt Ramirez that mm -hmm. when you see him next week, that how many points did I say the Cougars were going to score? Okay. And he's going to tell you 37. 
Well, you're wrong they're because they're going to kick an extra point, don't oh, it? But they're probably missing. Oh, no, I'm not messing with They're probably <laughs> missing. They'll probably block it. Here we go. Get ready for extra point. Remember, get ready. Extra point, Cougars, okay? Okay, you, all right, I got you. As soon as the refs raise their hands. All right, here you go. Right. When they raise it, all right. As soon as they raise their hands. And it snap it up, and it's going to be a fake. I told you. Oh, this is not good. Though. Did I tell you 37 points? Don't it. Did you say 37? Yes. And did you say they're going to probably miss it, miss it or something? Yes. Well, they definitely missed it. And what is going on, uh, don't it? The Cougars. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, up 37 to 14, the Cougars, we don't understand it. But they go for the two-point conversion, even though they're up by a bunch of touchdowns at their drive. Well, it was designed. You don't think crazy. he bobbled the snap? No, sir. I do not believe it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's Paul Osbury. I'm Donna Salina. We're bringing you Friday Night Football, South Texas football from Edinburgh, Texas. And the Cougars have just put some nails on that coffin. I mean, I was, uh, Coach, uh, Coach Garza, don't you remember? Coach Salinas going out there and shaking your hand a bunch of times? Yeah. Que paso? Anyway. So it's 37-14. This game has just gone out of hand. And do an oh. onside kick. I mean, what is going on, Cougars? Let's go, yeah. In the game already, man. <laughs> Holy cow. What? Oh, oh my God. Yes. Here comes the run. Here comes the run. Uh, comes great the run. job. Real good blocking. I tell you, white sides That's has gonna, earned every single yard. Every one of the, what? 4,000 yards? What are, you, what are you? 280. Two, and he's up to at least 280-ish. 80-ish. Wow. Hey, can we get a total before we finish it, maybe? 81. Ouch. Own it. That is some serious running the ball. Is it? Yeah, he's going to be talked about uh, on the state level, I'm sure, uh, on the rushing tonight. Is he a senior? He is. Yes, sir. But I'm not Alvarez. I don't know. I hope he's okay. But usually it's an Alvarez, white side, white side, Alvarez. There's nothing but uh, white side tonight. And the Cougars pooch kick it, basically. But this time, their regular returner is able to get it. He fielded. it. he got no more room as he gets completely tackled. And the Cougars drive him out of bounds. And it is, in fact, Sabercats ball on the 35 with a minute and 50 left. Pablo, see, si, do, do you try and do something here? Or just well, you, you here? do. You do try to do something, okay? You do, don't it? Yeah, but I'm worried. I fear what I fear is an interception, Cougars, and another touchdown. That's what I fear. Yeah. yeah. I mean, guys, you gave it what you got, and, and hats off to the Sabercats. Not only for tonight, but the whole year. That, like, uh, you know, Coach Lane brought up a big point, and, and Coach, I had never thought about it the way you were thinking at it. He said, I said, you've had a good year, and I said, I should have had a better year. Wow. It, it is true, man. He, he could have won the two games that he Here we lost. go. Looks like the Sabercats are going to, ooh, he got, boy, did he get hit. Settle down, guys. He got definitely hit as the. Um, yeah, stop it. Yeah. Stop, man. Like you do it sometimes. Take a knee. Run backwards. Don't get hit. Yes. So it's going to be second and call it nine the game, uh, three inches on the play. So it's going to be second and nine coming up for the Sabercats. We're down to 124 left. There comes a pass attempt to number two, and it is thrown uh, at the cheerleaders. So it's going to fall incomplete. And the cheerleaders cannot make a reception last time I checked. No? Okay. Well, he tried there, and it fell incomplete. So it's going to be third and nine and you're looking at giving the ball back to the cougars with time on the clock yes Whoa, oh my gosh now uh i fear the worst you won't take a knee no me are you talking to me don't it okay cougars will they take a knee uh, we hope they do ladies and gentlemen you know for the good of the game we don't want any players getting upset it can cougars are blitzing and it is that's oh. that's clearly a penalty and we have some extra extracurricular on the field as the Cougars and Vela just will not stop going at it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they just flat out won't stop going at it. Uh, the best way you can describe it is offsides, Cougars, ball was thrown, Definitely. clearly interference on the Cougars, and then we see some players going no, to Greco you, wrestling on the ground. No, that, I mean, and ladies and gentlemen, that, Paul, you cannot do that. that he's got to be gone. He uh, had no yeah, business hitting no, the kid. No, he was, it, was, it was intentional all the way, and... You know, I can only speak for myself. I'm not the Cougar head coach, but I can tell you that not only would that not happen, but that player needs to be gone. Yeah, we'll wait and see what the call is going to be. But, I mean, everybody threw a flag and a cap. And, I mean, that's, and ladies and gentlemen, that's something you don't like to see. And I hope, you know, our viewers and our kids, that's not the kind of football you want to teach your kids to play because it's not good at all. So we'll wait and see what the call is going to be. We've already had two ejections in this game. And, ladies and gentlemen, that's just to tell you how high or how big this game uh, was going to be, and we kind of felt it was going to be that big of a game. So, uh, 
But once you here comes the call, and the, the referee directing the players to step back and the coaches to step back again. <laughs> oh, they're trying to sort it out. These guys just wanted it so bad, and and, and you know, it's kind of a good thing. And don't get me wrong, uh, in some way, Paulo, because you, you're mm. trying. To, I mean, these kids, they're sophomores, man. A lot, a lot of them are sophomores. Yes, second, of course, we're talking about the Saber Cats. Yeah, second year school, and you know what? Uh, they, they <laughs> I mean. I just can already wait to see in the next two years. But at the same time, you know, they're giving you it all, and you're just getting beaten, man. But you got to remember, you're getting beaten by the big brother, man. I mean, a, a classic Cougar team that's been there that was three rounds last year and looking at going even further this year. So when you come up and you start beating on them by going up 7-0 and then making it a game, and then you come back and score on them, like if you're going to beat them or here they come back, they're only down six points. Hey, you know what? We're going to tell you who the big dogs are. And that shirt that the Amidas were saying that said big dog, mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, they, they showed it. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, and they're it's, get part the ball. Of the game. it's part of the game. It's part of the game that what we're seeing here, and it's part of growing up, and it's part of uh, being a champion. So, it's, it's you know, both ways. It's part of high school football. In other words, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, these kids don't get paid to, to play or anything. They're just out there having a good time. And you play with a lot of pride. You played it. You played There's it yourself. No doubt. You played it yourself. I, I played it myself. Uh, you take me out for a home run, and you come up next time, and you're laughing at me. You know you that's going to come high and tight. And high and tight. Uh, yeah, and it is, and that is part of the game. And it, and it should be thrown high and tight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we're, sorry, we're saying that, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, yeah. we're kind of talking more on the professional level. I'm sorry. All right, just, just, it's, just it's, it's part of the game, and you know now. It's not the same as throwing high, I mean, or tight, or in the back, or in the shoulder, or but you go at the head, and it, it's totally a different level, which yeah, is here. Yeah, that particular play. Which yeah, is here. Was, I mean, you give him a knee or something here, it's okay, but when you take him out like that, I mean, the kid is just going full blast. And yeah, the, and defenseless, by the defenseless, way. Defenseless, right. That's, that's the main key there. And it's, I mean, here comes the call, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what's going to happen. We got a mic on on this guy. There multiple fouls. On the multiple fouls. We're going to have offsides on the defense. Offsides. Targeting, they uh, they got it. He's gone. Yeah. That's the fourth uh, ejection of the game, ladies and gentlemen. That's how much they've been going at it, as we have just received two for the Cougars and two for the Sabercats uh, ejections tonight. And that player we were talking about that did that intentional interference, he was ejected as well. And great job to the referees because that's uncalled for. As you hit a very defensive player, do you shake hands about up to the game? Oh, yeah. uh, it's sad. It's sad. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's, it's sad, sad that it's, we're contemplating that, don't it? Exactly. It's sad that I'm even mentioning it. But you, you, I mean, you got to consider it's not worth it. So we'll wait and see what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. We'll stick around for about uh, 40 I seconds. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. And it's going to be a quick pass. And there was that. The play was designed. Ooh, a little tackling. I like I'm looking for I'm looking for players to go ahead and get up and no fight on that particular play don't it? Oh, they almost started so it's gonna be one more time for the Sabercats move, move those chains. chains and the clock stops as they move those chains at and 107 so after they move the chain we're gonna do start the clock you missed it momentarily I didn't know I said I said and they start the clock to oh, move yeah. those as we move those chains all right here we go first and 10 we're under 103 104 left of the game a quick pass as, oh, he decided to not go out of bounds, and he stays on his feet. He's Ooh. definitely a tough runner. Uh, that was a quick little pass to De Luna. Another flag. Another player oh, gone. Oh, boy. Number two is gone. He throw. He threw him out. Get out of the game. He told him. He threw the flag and looked at him and said, you're gone. Wow. Uh, players losing their composure, ladies and gentlemen. With 50 seconds left, this is one of the ugliest last minutes in high school football. Unfortunately, it's happening in Edinburgh. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, and against two Edinburgh schools, but again, it's the first, it's the second year school, and these kids, you know what? They got tired of getting beaten up last year, not winning a game. This year, they they made a name for themselves. They're gonna get better. They're gonna be better next year. They come to call on it, but five. That's our fifth ejection of the game. I can tell you, Donut, as long as I've been playing and coaching, and it's been a long time, I've never seen as many ejections ever. Five. The fifth ejection of the night. Second down. Second down and military highway. We're down to 50 seconds, ladies and gentlemen, and again, this game just got ugly. 
It was a beautiful game. It was a good game. It was a good battle until the, I want to say, the last eight minutes yeah. of the game. Before that, it was a good game going, and it just turned ugly on us. But for right now, it's still Cougars 37, Center Cats 14. We have a second and 19. Quarterback keeper, he, gonna, Brown, he goes up the middle, bounces it outside, still on his feet, and is tackled after a gain of about six. And the clock is running down to 30 seconds on it. Let's end this game, baby. Yeah, fourth down. I'm going to stick around and see the handshakes. Guys, if y'all don't mind, we're going to stick around for a while, Rick. We'll see the handshake. I'll stay on for about 45 seconds to a minute afterwards. Hopefully we can get uh, some good sportsmanship to end the night. We'll wait and see. Pablo, you'll hear the last Benson of it Road. on Benson Road, but that's no problem. <laughs> Ten, nine, Last eight, play of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Six. It's going to be a bomb. And instead of a bomb, he throws a quick, short pass. This is your last play of the game, and hopefully they let each other up. Yep, so that's going to take it to the final Good now, night. ladies and gentlemen. So, again, it is a final score. It is the Edinburgh North Cougars staying undefeated at 8-0 over the Sabercats who gave it everything they got, and it was a good battle. We're lighting up the players. Coaches are taking control of this. Coach Filoteo on the field, everybody on the field. And again, ladies and gentlemen, there's two Edinburgh teams. It's going to be like that, but uh, uh, hopefully everything's going to be fine. We're lighting up the players, and it seems to me like everything is going to go good. Again, you got to understand, these are only high school kids, and uh, – it's part of the game, and they're going to learn both ways, uh, not only on the winning side but the losing side, that sometimes it's not that pretty when you're on the losing side. So once again, from Edinburgh, Texas, at Edinburgh Cat Stadium, it's Paul Osbury. I'm Donald Salinas. It's Cats TV. It's RallyCenter.com saying good night, everybody.